one-on-one, uh, knocking out a quick video on the step close volleyball blocking technique and um, how I think some people should be using it. <laughs> I know it's a little bit of a mean video, some people may think, uh, but I look at this and, you know, I just think this guy should be locking a lot more balls. So watching a game here, I've got uh, my buddy Miles Evans. Uh, I used to train with him. Great guy. He's really gotten better. Uh, we've got Ryan Barry Daughtry on the red shirt, and you got Reed and Stafford Slick. Um, it's a fun game. I pulled this off of my buddy with NY Varsity Sports uh, YouTube channel. If you guys can, I just think he is awesome, and he does a really entertaining job. So I love watching him uh, commentate. So let's watch this game. Um, I think this ties in nicely to some of the things that we've been teaching on uh, blocking technique. Okay, not bad. It was kind of just an adjustment move. Blocking a four block, it looks like. Okay, tight set, gets housed. Good. That's not bad. Not bad, Ryan. Okay, now this is interesting for me. So Ryan looks like he wants to pull line. It looks like... Um, Miles is set up line. Now watch his footwork. Now this is the thing that I think, one of the reasons why I think the step close footwork is so much better. So his footwork is bad. He's decided to now pull. Look how he has to take, look how long that footwork step is. Because he has to make a double move. Boom. If his left foot, if he's planning on pulling angle, even in the line, this ball is on the side, outside on the pin he should have his left foot off the net so it's super easy for him to pull straight down the line or straight into the angle and you can see he doesn't do that so let's watch what happens bad pull miles is mad because miles thinks he's pulling um line miles sets miles sees him move miles switches and they get a touch on the line i just think that's bad footwork you know and that's a point. Every point matters. So that's one mad point. Okay, so let's look at his footwork right now. His feet are parallel. The ball's coming through the middle, it looks like. So I would suggest his left foot is off the net if he's blocking line. If he's blocking cross court, maybe his right foot is off the net. Now notice how long it took him to pull. Because his left foot was not off the net, he had to make almost a double move to pull. He'd be faster in the pull. He still has enough time. Okay, good, good dig. Oh, not a great kill. He should be killing that ball. But, you know, perhaps he would have had a little bit more aggressive approach if he had been a little bit more ready to go in and swing. Okay, but anyway, it's not bad. Okay, let's look at that block. Okay, I didn't have too much to say around that. So over on two play. Okay, now let's look at this. Oh, now notice how because of his position and location on the net, notice how he is always moving cross. Now in this situation, Ryan should be here on the pin. Okay, he should be like right around here. Let's put a little circle. Okay, with his right foot on the net and his left foot off the net, step closing this way onto it, okay? Instead, because he's not in the right position with his foot, he has to go out and chase the line shot, okay? And the wind's blowing uh, off the ocean, so this is a ball that he should have. The way he then goes and chases it is notice how he almost chases into the seam. I mean, chases back into the line. Miles nearly digs it and makes an error. But that ball right there is not a, is a ball that Ryan, in my opinion, could easily block. So I think, look, look at this. If he started on that line, right hand on the ball, here, so straight and then step closes with his left 
I think what's going to happen is he's going to have his left hand here to block the seam. And that's the problem that I have with Ryan. He's not penetrating enough with his hands and he's chasing across the court. This is one of the problems that you see when you're basically parallel to the net with your feet parallel. You basically have to jump across to front the hitter. Whereas if you're basically step closing, you can basically step close into the area. Notice also Ryan's hands. His right hand is never straight. In this situation, you always want your right hand straight on the ball. And then this left hand of his here can make moves. Because he's always running across the net, he doesn't effectively line up his right hand and then push effectively with his left hand and penetrate. His left hand penetration is not very good. Um, the other thing is because he's so tight, he doesn't read very well. When you're a little bit further off the net, when you're going ball set a ball hitter, that situation was a good example. You see better the hitter because you've got a slightly larger distance and a wider view. You can see this in the videos. Okay, so let's see. Uh, lining up. Okay, not bad. That's just a good shot by a read. I, I think that's not a bad block either. Okay, yeah, that's not a bad block. Everything's okay. Not great. Uh, yeah, I think he'd jump even higher and put up an even bigger block if he did the step close here. Anyway, also the thing is, if he was a little bit more disciplined and if he was staying a little bit more straighter and his left hand was pushing more into the C, Miles would feel a little bit more comfortable looking at the shot. Okay, now watch Ryan how long he looks at the at the set. Look, he's still looking at the set. He hasn't picked up the hitter. Now, this is the one where it looks like he's blocking line, but the set is middle. So, in my opinion, he should have his right foot off the net, okay, because he wants to push and penetrate with his right hand back into the line, okay. I think he's going to go line. Oh, they're doing a cross court. Oh, okay, let's rewind that thing. That's even better. Okay, so... So watch how, if he's blocking cross court right now, okay, his right, his left foot should be off the net and he should be almost fronting, pushing with his right hand on the ball. And then his left hand goes back into the angle. Okay. The problem is because of his positioning, he doesn't front the player very well because he can't move across the net when his feet are parallel like this. So let's watch and then look at this bad move. Easy shot, right through the seam. Okay, in this situation, in my opinion, his right hand, his right arm should be straight. Okay, and then his left hand should be coming through and taking this ball here. Okay, like that. But the problem is because he can't move across the net effectively and because he's too tight on the net, he doesn't do that. So he does the worst thing, in my opinion. Let's see if I can change the color of this. And he basically does this move. Anyone that knows indoor, that's the worst thing you can basically do. So, again, I think it's back to his footwork. His footwork needs to be better. If his right foot was off the net and he was squaring up with his uh, right shoulder, I mean, his left foot was off the net and his right shoulder was straight, he'd be in a much better position here. I just love this play. Check out this. Reed runs under the net. I love this. <laughs> okay. Now notice, oh my gosh, now this is a great example of Ryan's uh, problems. Now look how long, look how he's watching, watch his face. Because of his feet, if his left foot, I think he's going to pull cross court here. So because his feet are parallel, look at all the extra moves he has to make. One, look how he has to almost get ready to pull. Look at this. Look at his feet. Look at his feet. Look at his feet. So he did two steps before he could take a step cross court back. Is his, If his left foot was off the net, he could have just crossed over into the back corner here. So he would have taken, his, his left foot would have been off the net. He would have crossed, stepped, and be back in the corner. Instead, he's already taken two steps right now. And now he makes his move to go across. Also, it's a small crossover step. Easy shot by Reed. 
and you should be on that. Again, footwork matters, bad footwork. Okay. Um, so in this situation, here's another example. So now he's blocking the line. Okay. So in my opinion, if he's blocking line, he wants to be penetrating and pushing with his right leg through a middle set. Okay. And his right hand, because he wants to push back into the line area. So he's trying to take this area here. So in my opinion, his right foot should come onto the net. If he steps onto the net with his right foot, that hand is going to be his power hand. And he's going to penetrate more with that right hand, sealing back off the line. Now, you're not doing this on an outside set. You're doing this more on a middle set where you have to come back and defend the line. So his left hand is more straight on the ball. And his right hand is coming in and penetrating. Now, because of his footwork being parallel, he doesn't come in and make an aggressive step. Also, he doesn't have an aggressive mindset. You can see from the videos what I'm talking about. But watch this move. Look how he doesn't come through. So his right hand doesn't effectively push onto that ball, and he gets tooled. If he had instead come through and pushed with that right hand, with that right step onto the ball, his right hand and arm would have been in a much stronger position. And I think he would have maybe blocked this. Great shot, Reed. Either way. So we're starting to see lots of mistakes. You know what I mean? You started off all right initially. So we've seen at least three footwork blocking mistakes. So on the pool, I've counted, I think, two or three so far. And I think that there's at least two blocks, which I think he could have gotten. So four points, I think, in my opinion. That's a lot. Great dig. Oh, this is a great place. I want to show you guys an opposite of why, and you can compare. Now notice uh, Stafford's slick footwork. He's blocking middle, okay? Notice which foot is off the net and the angle of his hips. His right foot is off the net, okay? So this was the exact same play that Ryan just had, okay? So if Stafford wants, he can basically jump in and close the line. He can also step close to the right, if he so chooses, and really seal off that line or a shot. But in this situation, because his hips are open, it's very easy for him to pull back into the line and dig this ball, okay? Notice his hips are open, easy move, cross over, boom, very, very great dig. Okay, and this is like a perfect example of what Ryan's not doing and why he needs to fix it. And it's interesting, we see it in the, same, in the very next play. Okay, great dig. Again, that tool, like, look at this mindset. Great dig, Stefan. But again, look at Ryan's hands. He's not closing onto this effectively. Feet parallel. And look, he's not pushing with any of his hands. Look how his arm is never straight. So he's never in a power position. One arm should always be straight. This is all middle, uh, playing indoor. His right arm should be straight, and his left arm should be pushing into that seam like this. But because his hand's at an angle, notice his arm is not straight. Because it's not straight, coming straight off the shoulder, he basically is getting tooled all the time. Wow. Okay, I gotta show that one again. That is like the perfect example for me. Okay, now watch. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on here and it's just like crazy to watch. Okay, so we're serving Stafford. Look at his starting position. Okay, if you're gonna be blocking the line compared to Stafford, okay, notice his footwork. Okay, Ryan is too tight on the net. So because he's so tight on the net, he has to move horizontally so he doesn't move as effectively. He also doesn't have great vision on the ball because notice how he's watching the ball now because he's so tight. So his field of vision is not as um, wide. It's very narrow. So it's very difficult for him to switch over. If he was a little bit further off the net, 
He could be maybe over here. And he's got a wider field of vision because he's further off the net. So just being further off the net makes it easier to read. Okay, so it takes a long time to do the switch over. Notice he's still watching the ball, watching the ball. He then realizes he's not in the right position. His right hand is not on the ball. Okay. And even if he wanted, if he's coming middle, he should be either pushing with his right hand and taking a step, or he should be lining up more outside. If he's lining up more outside, his right hand should be straight here and then stepping in. He didn't do either. So his footwork is bad. He dives across the court and misses it completely. Great shot by Stafford. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop there.